Jeremy Corbyn slammed as Prince Charles wins PM backing to lead Commonwealth after Queen. Prince Charles has gained the backing of Prime Minister Theresa May to succeed the Queen in becoming the next head of the Commonwealth despite Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn's snub, it has been revealed. The news comes after Jeremy Corbyn said on BBC's The Andrew Marr Show that Prince Charles should not automatically take over as Queen and even suggested the 53 countries in the association should choose who succeeds the monarch. But now the Prime Minister has thrown her weight behind the Prince of Wales as he is set to be nominated later this week at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London. Mrs May's spokesperson commented on her backing, saying, the government supports the Prince of Wales as the next head of the Commonwealth. He has been a proud supporter of the Commonwealth for more than four decades and has spoken passionately about the organization's unique diversity. Regarding the matter of succession, Mrs May said, succession is a matter for the Commonwealth as a whole to determine. Any discussion that did take place would take place at the leaders' retreat at Windsor Castle on Friday. Decisions in the Commonwealth are made by consensus. There is now growing confidence that Prince Charles will succeed the Queen as head of the Commonwealth following a campaign by Clarence House and the discreet backing of Downing Street. But this comes amid growing criticism of Prince Charles and the issue surrounding succession. Although Prince Charles will become king upon the death of his mother, the title of head of the Commonwealth is not her editory, and there have been increasing calls for it to be passed to someone else. The future monarch also received sharp criticism from Labour MP Kate Osammer, the Shadow International Development Secretary and MP for Edmonton since 2015, who suggested that someone else should assume the role other than Prince Charles following the Queen. The Corbyn ally said, I just don't think it should be him. I don't really know what he's been up to of late. He's not been that vocal on issues. She also accused Prince Charles of being unfit to succeed the Queen as he is not regarded as level-headed or someone people respect. Prince Harry has however been appointed as Commonwealth Youth Ambassador, and the young royal announced that he would be sharing the role with his future wife Meghan Markle. Commenting on Meghan's future role in the institution, he said, I am also incredibly grateful that the woman I am about to marry, Meghan, will be joining me in this work, of which she too is hugely excited to take part in. The couple are now expected to undertake numerous tours of Commonwealth nations in order to engage young individuals and communities. This is seen as particularly important work as 60% of the population of the Commonwealth's 53 member states is under the age of 30. Commenting on his new role, Prince Harry said, I know that serving as an ambassador to young people I am going to have to try to keep up with you. He also paid tribute to his grandmother, saying, on the day of her 21st birthday, the then Princess Elizabeth gave an extraordinary radio address from Cape Town. With an eye on the future and an already unflinching sense of duty, she made a commitment. She said that whether her life be long or short, it would be dedicated to the service of the people of the Commonwealth. Her Majesty's commitment has meant that the Commonwealth is a thriving family of nations a common link between nearly two and a half billion people, and a defender of democracy, justice, and peace.